This is Alan Laframboise with the ESRI Developer Network. In this Try It Live video, we're going to look at a WPF Globe Viewer sample in the RTS Engine Code Gallery. So we'll start by looking at the Code Gallery entry itself. And you'll notice there are three requirements, RTS Engine 9.3, the 3D Analyst Extension License, and the .NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1, which provides the WPF components. After we download and unzip this project, you'll notice that there are four main components. Um, in the first, you'll see code to initialize the main gallery window, and then the ArcGIS engine licensing code, which executes and checks out a license. The WPF globe gallery window is defined in XAML. You'll see a number of windows uh, components defined at the bottom, and uh, the key, key to this is the scroll viewer that will render the thumbnails that have been exported from 3DD globe documents. And there's also a slider uh, control here that's been defined in XAML, resized and recentered. Okay, a third component and another child window is the WPF globe viewer window. And the key component here is the Windows Forms host. The Windows Forms host is what connects the Arc Globe and allows it to draw on the Windows Form itself. Also important here are the buttons that uh, are defined in XAML and through event handlers will connect to C Sharp code behind the scenes and uh, execute some engine code. So this is associating a navigation tool uh, with WPF button is clicked. The last important part uh, to this class is where the engine controls are actually created. So the globe control is created and then associated with the map host, which is the Windows Forms WPF host. So this is an important point because it's actually joining the two environments together, the Windows Forms .NET environment with WPF and allowing the control to render within its context. So if you run the application, you'll notice the main globe gallery window opens first, and we can use uh, the slider bar and the windows uh, styles have been defined in XAML to form translations on the bitmaps, and that's what allows them to resize dynamically. So when we double click on the bitmaps themselves, that opens up the associated globe viewer window. So and of course, this is the container for the globe control itself. You'll notice some event handling here, so as the events are being captured on the engine side, uh, being passed back to WPF components and rendered on the display. So we can open up as many child windows as we want. And uh, another interesting uh, part of this application, I guess, is the fact that uh, this data is being downloaded from uh, ArcGIS Online, so all the 3D documents are connected to ArcGIS Online. Um, so you don't need the data locally. So you have all the standard behavior you would expect in, in Globe at this point. We have all the tools that we can use to navigate and zoom around. So WPF provides uh, an adequate container in that regard. So this has been a short tour of how to implement uh, the ArcGIS Engine Globe Control in WPF. 